Hello beautiful people, Yasmin here. Welcome to Juliet Kitchen. Today you're in for a fantastic treat. I am sharing with you this absolutely delicious chicken burger. It has three different herbs, some garlic, onions, peas, sweet peas, and I broiled it in the oven. It's absolutely easy to pull together, super delicious. And I'm serving it with a guacamole, as well as apple and spinach. The rolls are my own rolls, but you could serve it with whatever type of roll you like. So I do hope you'll stick around long enough to see how I pull together the chicken burger and the guacamole. This is damn good. Don't be shy, hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Get printable recipes on our food blog. Okay, so I have all of my ingredients ready for this chicken burger. It's really easy to put together. Today I'm using one pound of lean chicken, uh, ground chicken meat. I'm also using some uh, sweet uh, peas. These are frozen. You could take them out at room temperature. That's perfectly fine. I am softening uh, the uh, meat or adding back uh, good fat, which is extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to add in about one and a half uh, tablespoons or so. Red onions, or you could use shallots. Sometimes I use shallots in the recipe. Um, uh, garlic, fresh crushed garlic. I actually put it in a garlic press. And then for the herbs, which makes this recipe really, really beautiful. Uh, sage, one tablespoon. Fresh is best. Oregano, one tablespoon. Thyme leaves, one tablespoon. I have uh, sea salt, or you could use kosher salt, um, uh, ground cumin, and fresh ground black pepper. I'm gonna give this a little mix here. Oh, it smells good already. That cumin is amazing in here. Okay, and then now I'm going to add in my uh, frozen um, sweet peas. Fresh peas is also good. Just mix it really well. How beautiful does this look? Okay, I think it's just about ready. I'm going to cover this with a plastic wrap and allow it to sit in the refrigerator for one hour. Okay, beautiful people. The uh, chicken uh, burger meat has been marinating for the last uh, one hour. I've taken it out of the refrigerator about 30 minutes ago because I want to get some of that coldness out of it. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is shape it into burgers. I'm making two half a pound of burgers, but if you like smaller uh, burgers, you can uh, make it into four, if you will, which will be quarter pounders. I'm going to be broiling it on a broiler pan that I've uh, seasoned, if you will, with uh, canola spray. Uh, you could uh, use olive oil if you wish, uh, whichever one works better for you. Okay, so let's get the shape. Okay, to shape the burgers, I like to do it on a piece of parchment paper. And I'm also using some extra virgin olive oil. I like to dip my hand in the olive oil. And then I'm just going to separate this into two equal portions. You could eyeball it. I like to use the olive oil. Uh, this way it gets a nice golden brown um, when it's under the broiler. Here you go. Press it down. I like to make it as flat as I can get so that it um, cooks faster. And I like to put a little bit of an indentation here in the middle. Transfer to the seasoned pan and shape the remaining patty. The indentation in the middle of the burger helps it to cook evenly. Here you have it, the two burgers are ready for the broiler. Broil six to eight inches from the heat source. I'm going to cook the first side probably four to five minutes or so. I'll get a nice light uh, brown topping. And then what I want to do is flip it and I'll cook it for about another three to four minutes. Okay, beautiful people. This amazingly delicious and healthy chicken burger deserve a great guacamole. Um, one difference with this particular one is I'm using serrano peppers just because I didn't have any jalapeno but uh, um, 
the jalapeno peppers work just perfectly. The serrano works very well. You could even use habanero pepper if you like. Um, so let me show you how to do the guacamole. I'm using two uh, very small avocado. You could use a large one. Let's hope these avocados are good sometimes. Oh, they're perfect. Sometimes you cut them and they're blemished. Use a spoon to scoop it out. And I'm going to mash this. You can mash it as fine as you like or leave some lumps like I do. I'm juicing half of a lime. Try get to get the lime on first. This way the avocado doesn't oxidize or get browned or discolored. Okay, I'm going to add a pinch of salt, a pinch of fresh ground black pepper, cilantro, I don't know, with about a tablespoon of cilantro. Let's see, depending on how spicy you want, I'm just going to add one tablespoon of the um, serrano pepper, one clove of garlic. You could use less or you could eliminate it all together. The onions, let's see here, I'm going to add about a tablespoon. And then the uh, tomato, I'm going to add about a tablespoon as well. Let's taste. Wow, it's absolutely perfect. Okay, the burgers have been broiling for about five minutes. I'm going to flip them. And this goes back into the oven. Three minutes later, I'm going to add cheese. I am going to add a uh, pepper jack cheese on just one of the burgers because my husband loves cheese. Okay, I'm going to put this back into the oven for about another minute. Wow, looks perfect. Wow, beautiful people. How amazing do these burgers look? My husband's going to be really excited. This is one of his favorite. I'm using my homemade roll and adding some guac to one side of the bun. And apples, oh my gosh. I'm gonna add a few slices of the apple on each of the burger. It's absolutely delicious with the chicken. Some beautiful fresh baby organic spinach. Wow, look at that. You could add some more spinach if you like. A couple pieces more of apples. Okay, beautiful people, this gets a little bit messy. Um, so it's my favorite time of the day. You all know what time it is, right? Excuse me if I make a mess. Wow. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. The burger tastes a little bit spicy only because of the avocado uh, guacamole on it. You could taste a little hint of the cumin, the guacamole, the apple, the spinach. It's absolutely delicious. So I do hope you'll take the time to try this recipe and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Don't be shy, hit the subscribe button, it's appreciated. Until next time. Happy cooking!